Hey guys, so you're probably gonna hear my TV, but, um, I just wanted to say, um, that I had, like, a really bad experience the other day. Um, I don't know how many of you know, but I do know that a few people know that I am diabetic and I have been for a really long time. Um, it's nothing new, and I've lived with it, and I've dealt with many scary things in my life. Um, but the other day was probably by far the scariest thing I had to ever go through with my diabetes, and... I had a driving lesson because I still can't drive. Like, I'm terrified, not because I'm scared to drive or operate a car, but because of my diabetes. And yesterday was one of the reasons to why I'm, like, really scared. And um, I left the house, and I was perfectly fine. Um, I don't know if any of you know what is what, but when your sugar is over, for me, if it's over, like, 180, it's high. And if it's under... 120 it's low so when it's low you drink juice when it's high you drink water um, and then you take insulin which is something like this um, there are all different kinds but this is the kind that I take um, which is Novolog and it is not expired okay good <laughs> um, so um, when it's low you don't take insulin you drink juice when it's high you do take insulin and drink water so that it kind of like evens out everything in your body so yesterday um, I was like in a rush, I was getting ready to go to the driving lesson, I've never met the person before, um, and I did not feel the need to tell him that I was diabetic, and I didn't, which on my part was a stupid idea, um, and I was driving, um, for about, I don't know, maybe an hour, and that's all I can remember. After that hour, um, I did not remember anything. I still don't remember anything, like I have glimpses coming back to me. But I don't remember anything, and that's the scary part, because I don't know if I took something, or if it was my fault, or whatever, but I don't even know how I got home, I don't know what happened to me, I don't know if he knew what was happening to me, um, I came home, I started stuffing my face with, like, a chicken quesadilla, and then, like, I passed out on my bed, I called my mom, and I was just, like, come home now, passing out, and she, like, rushed home, and she's, like, a 15 drive from work to my house, so... That was really scary. Apparently, I was, like, cursing everybody off, and I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how I was functioning, and my mom just kind of found me laying on my bed, shivering, um, fully clothed, but I was shivering, um, under three blankets and a heating pad, and I was still cold. And that's kind of, like, the aftershock of low blood sugar. And when it goes down a certain level, you go unconscious. So mine had to be below 20, um... And it had to be below 14, because I've had another um, episode like that before, too. Um, but this one was by far worse, because at that time, I actually had somebody with me, and it was my boyfriend, and he helped me through it. Um, but this time, I was all alone, and I didn't know what was going on. And when it went down to that point, I was really scared, because, like, there nothing was helping. It was so low that, like, I didn't even think of taking my, um, it's like something like an EpiPen, um... I'll show you if I can find it. Which I had this with me too, which is the funny part. I didn't even think of taking this because I didn't even tell the guy. So now I have juice in my bag, but that's not what I'm looking for. It's this. This is what this looks like. It's a kit with ooh, with something like this. And I've never used one before, so I don't know how it works. So if, if you want to know how, how to use it, I would suggest watching Panic Room because they have the same thing and they use the same thing and I've never used it. Um, so that's thankful for me. Um, it, it gives you directions on how to use it, but I have never had to, thank God. But I wish I did yesterday um, because then I wouldn't have passed out. But anyway, so that's kind of what happened. And... I was, like, cursing people off, and, like, I don't remember anything, and, like, I broke down, like, ten times crying, because, like, I was so scared that I didn't know what, what was going on, and just going through something like that is, it's not fun, so that's one story that I had to share, um, and then the second story, um, it's basically the same thing, but it's happened to me, like, about two years ago, I was staying at my boyfriend's house, and, um, my sugar went really high, and my mom told me to take insulin, so I did. And then we, we took a nap. And while we were sleeping, I guess, I, like, woke him up. I, like, shook him and told him to check my sugar. And then I, I was out of it. I passed out. I had a seizure. And my sugar was 14, which is very, very, very low. 
Um, but mine yesterday was actually lower than that. I don't know how low it was, but it had to be at least that or lower. Um, but he actually had to throw me in the tub and pour cold water over me because I was soaked. Like, my all my clothes were soaked in sweat, and it was just really bad. And so he threw me in a tub of cold water, and he had... He gave me Snickers and, like, like Snickers ice cream and juice and candy and, like, everything, and it just was not working. And at that time, I did not carry one of those things with me because I never needed it. So, I never felt the need to have to until yesterday. Well, I've had it in my bag, but I've never used it, so. It's just going through something like that while learning how to drive makes me, makes me not want to drive. But I have to, like, get over that. <laughs> um... But just so you know, if you have any friends that are diabetic, you should really talk to them and ask them what to do if something happens. Because if you don't know and you call 911, they might not have enough time. Same with asthma. You need to know what to do. If you really care about your friends, like I do mine and like they care about me, it would really help to know that they are diabetic, that they have other illnesses. Um and to try to help them if something like that happens again. Um, what, especially if you're younger than me, which I'm 18, um, but I've had it since I was five and a half, and I've had a bunch of these episodes, and a lot of my friends were there to help me. Um, but there are times where nobody knows what's wrong, and I don't wear one of those like bracelets or necklaces to identify that I'm diabetic because I'm allergic to the metal. So if I were to wear one, it would be like a friendship bracelet that would say diabetic or something like that, um, which I don't. I don't know why I should, but I don't. Um, but I actually have to get one because it's scary, especially if you get like in a car accident or something. How are they going to know? I have a little note thingy in my wallet that says I'm diabetic, but that I might not have my wallet with me. So you never know. So if I were you, I would really think about learning about stuff, something like that to help somebody even if it's somebody you don't know it'd be good to know um you don't have to watch this whole video by the way it was really long but i had to share this story so if any of you have any experiences like this please comment down um in my crotch and let me know because i want to hear your story thank you